Welcome back, uh, Dr. Pucci here on the video series, Immune Health 101. So on the very last video, um, if you watch that right, we were talking about the uh, gut barrier system uh, and how autoimmunity is triggered, right? That we have these various systems that, you know, sinuses, the lung, the bronchial, the gut, and the bladder, which is a barrier to the outside world. So as things come into there, the foods and the chemicals, stuff right your immune system in there is supposed to kind of you know keep things in track right? we want to let the good things pass through and keep the bad guys out but a lot of factors especially stress uh and all things that contribute to stress like blood sugar dysregulation lack of sleep things of this nature um, these things will you know cause a breach in the in the gut barrier system okay and allow things to penetrate through the fact is many of the things that contribute to the breaching of the gut barrier system also contributes to the breaching of what's called the blood-brain barrier. So around our brains, we have a barrier system which protects our brains from the rest of the body. The idea is that if you had a respiratory tract infection, it doesn't get to your brain. But the same factors and stress factors that pound down in our gut barriers can also create a breach here. And that's how you know, viruses and bacteria and even environmental chemicals, mercury can get into the brain, breaches in the barrier system. So that's an important thing to understand, which is why in your day in day out you know if you're doing any type of like, proactive lifestyle things you want to think in terms of you know how do i protect my gut barrier um, and feed it you know correctly uh so the real thing i want to do in this particular video is just kind of make a little bit of an education on the immune system's response when things get into circulation and the immune system is created in autoimmunity um how does the autoimmunity either get exaggerated and, and cause severe tissue destruction and severe rheumatoid arthritis cases, as an example, or how do we you know, calm it down? Well, the simplicity of this complex issue is that there's different sides of your immune system, just like you have, again, the different you know, offensive football teams and defensive side of the football team and punt routine part of the football team. So there's one division, which are known as your, is your TH1 side, or T helper one side. Right? The cells that are in that division are known as natural killer cells, macrophages, right? cytotoxic cells. So the names you know, indicate, suggest that these are the guys that are going to go after and try to take down and eradicate the germ, the bad guy. The other side of the immune system is called the Th2 side or Th2 side. Right? For the most part, they're not really killing anybody. But this is the part of the immune system, the side that drives inflammation. Uh, this is the part of the immune system that is, that is driving the production of antibodies, right? So when the Th2 side is getting rubbed up, it's producing antibodies, and it's going to, it's, it wants to, it wants to, it would hit the, take the antibody and tag the, the germ of the bacteria. It, in a normal scenario, you get infected with a virus or a bug, bacteria, right? It is is your Th2 side goes into overdrive, drives inflammation. You don't feel so good. You don't want to go to work. You're tired. You're, oh, oh, oh. You're producing all these antibodies when the bacteria is, the germ is hit with the antibodies. At some point, the Th1 guys see it and you're not going to start taking care of it and you take it down. And then you have regulating immune cells sitting in the backdrop that is the conductor. When you see that enough of that attack is taking place, you tell the Th1 guy, the attack guys to calm down and this Th1, Th2 system goes back into balance. That's what we want. Now, moving forward, Right, you have a memory, your immune system has a memory of that germ. Okay, so if we have an antibody positioned against a tissue, whether it's your joints and your thyroid, right, if the Th1 side gets turned on, it can start getting kind of aggressive in its attack mode, right? But really, what's actually happening is in the new research is that so many factors from lifestyle, from diet, lack of sleep, poor nutrition, stress. What they are doing, they're creating a shift in this Th1, Th2 homeostasis. And the trend is to push more into Th2 dominance. So when a person is in Th2 dominance, they are now in a pro-inflammatory state. Allergies, asthma, just live here. Okay? And when you're in this TH2 dominant state, uh, immune chemicals called cytokines are going to, that the TH2 is producing, 
is going to drive another system called TH17. And the TH17 is tissue destruction. So the point is, is that when the immune system becomes imbalanced and, and, and becomes TH2 dominant, that's when we're going to have more aggressive destruction of tissues. And if we can't calm that TH2 system down, it's going to go on and on and on and on and on. Okay, so the real goal is we got to like just kind of drive this whole thing down. Okay. Um, so again, you know, what do we do to help kind of try to balance it? Go homeostasis with the immune system. Homeostasis with the immune system. Right. So if a person has um, cardiovascular disease, you know, diabetes, they're like already inflamed, right? So the little bit of trigger is going to start pushing this TH2 dominance. So that's not a good recipe to have when you're trying to control autoimmunity, right? So when you're trying to get things under control, it's, it's not about shutting the whole thing down. So not too long ago, when medical people would treat autoimmunity, when they would give people steroids, that was really the treatment, that was the, the treatment. And the whole purpose of the steroid was just to suppress the whole immune system, to shut it down. All right, well maybe short term, okay. Right? If you're having aggressive tissue destruction, your joints are just deteriorating, you gotta come in quickly and do something. I, I get that, right? Long term, disastrous. Because the long term effect of that treatment is it keeps a person in TH2 dominance in a very pro inflammatory state. And, and, and then you have immune suppression, you can't kill infections. So that's a, just a bad, bad, bad model. Today, they're coming in with things called biologics. Um, the, pre, the, the, the treatment is still, you know, it's try something, right? A biologic is a little bit different because it kind of works more in the specific pathway. So it's not complete immune suppression. Okay, it's, it's really, it's, it's tagging a certain type of cytokine called the TNN, TNA alpha, um, T, T, sorry, T and an alpha. Uh, it's not, not that important, but the point is it's more specific, a little bit more targeted, okay? But even that said, uh, in certain cases where it might be necessary, the research is not telling us that um, if you're just doing the biologics by themselves, they are less effective it's called monoclonal versus if you are doing uh, the biologics along with certain types of um, nutraceuticals in support. The effect is greater when you're doing also a nutritional support with the biologics. Okay? That may have seemed a little complicated, but uh, I definitely just wanted to get the concept about how the immune system, the real takeaway is that the immune system needs to be balanced. Right? It's going to go up and it's going to go down. You have an infection, you want it to respond. Okay? You want it to calm down up and down. I should, before I end the video, say you know, all the talk on vitamin D, okay, and vitamin A for that matter, but um, we'll get into the next video. But you know, vitamin D is, is one of the main roles of vitamin D is it's targeted specifically to the regulating immune cells, the conductor of the orchestra. So vitamin D is really is very, very powerful at immune modulating. That's why it's so important to have healthy levels of vitamin D. Okay, till the next video.